music and CD ripping. I'm now going to insert a music CD into the computer. I now need to set the production module to the default start window as if I'd just opened it. As before I click on the record tab and select the CD ripping option. This time instead of staying in the default target folder tab I select the CD ripper tab. The CD ripper window opens with all the details of the CD I have inserted. This includes artist, album and all the track names. Any number of tracks can now be extracted depending on which are highlighted. For demonstration purposes I have selected the first track. After highlighting a right mouse click brings up various options. It's always best to select Extract CD Tracks to WAV File. Another small window appears with progress bars and a typical CD track will take an average of 45 seconds to extract before the window disappears. The CD Ripper window can now be closed and the Target Folder tab can be selected again. This time the default address is correct as a temporary storage area for CD ripped tracks. You will therefore see that the CD track has appeared as a WAV file in the main window. As before, tick the small white box to the left of the WAV file and then click the yellow Add to Import List button towards the bottom right of the screen. The progress bar window appears and disappears when completed. As before, click on the Files icon at the top of the taskbar and then select the Import option. As before, attend to all the options under the Sound Properties tab first, this time of course selecting Music as the Library Category and CD as the Media Master. Remember, Broadcast Status must be set to Ready to be able to make the track fully playable in On Air. But be aware that by selecting Ready, you are stating that the track complies with your particular radio station's policies on expletive content. After sound properties are dealt with, this time we'll select the Quick Edit tab. A left and right waveform of the track appears in the bottom third of the screen, with the stop, start buttons and a counter. The start and end of the track can be trimmed here, and outros and outlinks can be attached, but are not normally necessary for basic operation. However, attaching intro markers, where singing starts, will prove extremely useful. To attach an intro marker, first listen to the track to get a feel for when singing, or indeed any other significant thing, happens to the sound. When I play this particular track, I find that singing starts after about 1 minute 30 seconds. Select the middle tab above the Start Stop Counter window, labelled Intro plus Outro. Towards the bottom left of the main window is a square section labelled Start. The lower button within that area is labelled Intro. Start playing the track and immediately return the mouse cursor to the aforementioned Intro button. Be ready to click the Intro button when the track reaches the desired point you will see that the system has inserted a thin yellow line on the waveform at the point you selected. It may take several attempts before the yellow marker appears at the correct spot. When you're fairly close, fine adjustment to the mark can be made by clicking the small up and down arrows to the right of the intro button. When perfectly satisfied with the intro marker, select the main music tab. The main details of the track will have been inserted. As before, click the yellow Import button. A small window with progress bars appears and disappears.